Okay, so I was talking about solvents, and I just want to continue this discussion. All right, so if we had, you know, something like this, and we added um, uh, NaOCH3 in methanol, okay, this reaction would work. You would look at it, you'd say, I've got a good leaving group, I've got a strong base, and I have a primary substrate. So this should be a very clear-cut SN2. But this base would normally, in the old days, people would have put it in methanol. They would put it in methanol because they complement one another. In other words, if this attacks this and pulls the H off, you're getting the same thing back. In other words, if this is sitting in methanol, it's very happy to pull that H off. And it doesn't make any difference because you would just make more methanol and you'd make more of the methoxide. But the thing is, as we just discussed, this thing is going to be totally tied up with uh, protic solvent. And it's going to be kind of a slower base. So I could make things work a lot better if I added sodium methoxide in, for example, acetone. Now, if I did that, this would solvate the sodium really well, but the methoxide would be kind of free. And this reaction here would, would be the same reaction. It would be an SN2, but it would go a lot faster, okay? Because this would be a free anion. It wouldn't be, like, all tied up with um, methanol molecules. So, again, this would be SN2, good leaving group, strong base, primary substrate. Okay, you get this. Okay, same product. This one, you would get the same product. An ether. I've been showing a lot of ethers in class. Okay. Um, in SN1E1 reactions, these are called solvolysis reactions, as I described in class. Um, typically, what they involve is using the solvent as the nucleophile. And in those reactions, you actually are using protic solvents. And they're actually really good for the, for the reaction because what we're waiting for in an SN1E1 is we're waiting for the, the leaving group to leave to form carbocation, okay? And we're waiting for this to attack. And this solvent actually really stabilizes the species that you're making because this kind of solvent solvates cations well because it'll very happily line up with its negative end toward the positive charge and it solvates, I'm just drawing my alcohol in an abbreviated way, but it solvates anions well as well. So for this to work, it has to make the cation. The cation, if the cation is solvated well, that enhances the reaction. And if the anion is solvated well, also that enhances the reaction. The, begin, the reagents are not charged, so we don't really care about them being, you know, what they're, uh, if they're dragging along a ball of solvent. So actually, protic solvents are common in SM1E1s, and they are usually also the nucleophile. Okay, so the other thing I have to talk about, again, is stereochemistry. So the stereochemistry of SN2E2, SN1, E1 is kind of interesting. Okay, first of all, SN1E1, what I can say about SN1E1 is that it involves cations. So what you expect with cations is what I said before. For every asymmetric carbon you make, you should write every stereoisomer. Okay, so what everything we learned about cations in addition reactions applies here. They, I always say cations do three things. Cations have a repertoire of three things. They, things add to them, they rearrange, and they can eliminate, which is what we learned here. So once you make the cation, it's going to do the things that you learned before. In other words, if it looks like it'll rearrange, it'll rearrange. 
You're going to add things to it. You're going to make tetrahedral centers. Some of them are going to be asymmetric, and you should draw every combination that you can come up with. They also can eliminate. And when things eliminate, you generally, get, generally obtain the most substituted alkene. And I'll try to do an example like this tomorrow. Um, and then realize with double bonds, there's also the, addition, the issue of cis and trans. How much time is left? Five and a half minutes so far. Okay. You, you have to stop it.